Hello and welcome back. In the last lesson, we did our last bit of work on the user model uh, by implementing the functions for the, the set password and set email functionality on that user model. And we implemented it in our router. As we can see, those were the last two items that we, we set up in our router. And now I think it's time to start moving on and talking about the last little bit um, of functionality that we need to include on this uh, register endpoint. Once we have done all the, the work that we need to do to check if the request that we are receiving from the, the client or whoever is sending that request has all the information um, that we need and it is all valid. The last thing that we typically do is save that um, object or piece of data that is coming in from the request to some type of database because the whole point of this course is to actually set up passport with a local authentication strategy. I'm not going to be too focused on wiring up a proper database in in this specific course. So I will be creating a mock DB that we can use uh, just to kind of simulate what a DB would be doing. It's gonna be very simple. It's just a, a quick workaround locally uh, to be able to simulate that DB, like I said. I guess this part is optional, but I, um, we are going to be using or referencing functions from this uh, local DB that we will be creating. So um, feel free to skip on ahead if you want to, uh, but I do think that it will be uh, nice and quick to go through anyway and just code along with me. It's always good to get that practice, and so so let's get cracking. And so without going on too much about that, let's just get um, cracking on with implementing that, um, that database class. So I think the first thing that we want to do is just make sure that your um, server is up and running. So I'm just going to kill my server for now. And uh, just remember, you can run that command npm start. If everything is working correctly, you'll see Nodemon is running and it's listening for changes in our code base. Um, but we should see that output that, that we have in our index here, where it says Express Server is listening on port 3000. So that's all good. So let's get uh, started and we will uh, create a new, new file um, in this uh, lib folder. Uh, I'm going to name it db.js. All right, so to get started, we are going to create a class that we want to export in this file. So I'll just create an underscore here, which will act as our variable, and then we'll assign it to a class called db, um, and just take note of those um, db that I'm using there. Um, and then we'll open up that class in our curly braces there. And before we start implementing some of the, the properties and methods in this class, let's just do a module export, and then we'll export that underscore, which will contain our, our db class. So that's all looking good for now. So the first thing that I want to do on our DB class is I want to implement an array that we can uh, store and access values from. This will uh, act as the data structure that we're using for our local DB here. And so to get started uh, by doing that, I'm going to create an array that we'll call local storage. And we'll just sign that to an empty array to start. And just take note that I've marked this with the static keyword. And all this means is that we will be able to access this local storage array on the class itself. Itself. So meaning that we don't actually have to instantiate or, or create an instance of a class to be able to access local storage. We can just reference this db class dot local storage and we'll be able to see what's inside this array or it will actually it'll return by accessing that that property on the class. It will return whatever it's um, storing in in that variable, in this case, local storage. All right, so now we've got some kind of data structure to store the data that we need. Let's just quickly run through some of the, the functions that we want to create on this class. In essence, what I want to be able to do is have a function to, to write some kind of information to that array called local storage. We also want to be able to, to have two separate functions that we can use to search for items in that particular array. We'll have one, one function that we can use to find by ID and then one uh, by searching for an email. All right, so let's just stub out these functions. So again, I'm going to be marking these functions with the static keyword that we can actually access this class um, without having to instantiate it. The first function here we'll call write and then that's going to take in a data uh, parameter or argument. Okay, so just stubbing out that real quick, we'll uh, write out a, another function. This one I'll call find one, and then this will take in an ID as an argument. All right, and then we, lastly, we will say find by email, and this will take in an email. And now that we've got these stubbed out, this is basically uh, all the, 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 the properties and methods that we'll have on this class. Just to test this out, we can do a console log, and then we'll just JSON to stringify the data that we get through and just to test this out. So 
So now that we've set up this very basic stubbed out uh, database class, let's go ahead and just test and wire it up to the router and see if that's working. All right, so if we head on over to our user.js uh, model file, we can now import this DB file that we've just made. And so we'll just uh, require that in. And we're going to go back one folder and then find the library folder and in there we'll import that DB file. And so what we want to do is we want to locate this uh, function that we created earlier on line 25 here. And that's the save function. And at this point in time, it's just doing a console log. And now that we've got some type of functionality that is simulating the database, let's comment that out. And what we want to do here is say db dot, uh, let's say save, sorry, be db dot write. And then we'll pass in a uh, object in here and we'll call it hello world. And then you can see our node button server has been listing for changes here. If we fire up Postman, so once Postman is open, you can see that we, we've got our, our reference here to the localhost 3000 API register. And so if I hit send now, you'll see that Postman is actually responding with the, the data structure that we sent in after creating this, uh, receiving this body, this JSON body over here. But what's interesting is uh, what we wanted to test is that we are actually getting this console log here saying writing and then we see data and hello world. And so if we check our, our DB file, um, that's exactly what we're testing. So now that we know that we've got our, our local database, our local database um, wired up to our model, we can now begin implementing all these functions. So let's take a, a quick break over here and I'll see you on over in the next lesson. Cheers.